All right, welcome back. Yarr. All right. Yarr, you made her. A creature absent of heart, and yet somehow able to keep existing. Not David even Jones. my finest replica can claim that achievement. Oh yeah, David the Jones. The must be in that box. David Jones. I have to know what mysteries it contains. I believe our orders were to find the box and seize it. No more. Put a leash on that runaway curiosity. Always so short-sighted. I'm very Why British. Why would the organization seek me out just as soon as I was re-completed? If not to affirm my intellectual prowess and invest in my research. Every stride I make is a stride for all of us. Oh, really? And what exactly are we striding towards? Luxord, do I detect a hint of treachery in your words? What? Don't be absurd. But to be clear, I serve the organization. I don't share your name. Alright, I've decided he's Ansem the Crazy and the other guy's Ansem the British. You around his <laughs> little finger. Always has been. So they're all human now. All I desire is the well, they're not nobodies anymore, yeah. but they are nobodies. Well, he's an, he's an Ansem. I'm pretty sure both of them are Ansems. Oh, they're all Because they have yellow eyes. No, the only the ones with the Ansem yellow eyes are Ansems. Like, the three that were pretty didn't have yellow eyes yet, so I'm pretty sure they're not Ansems. Not in the slightest. All that concerns me is that I complete the perfect human vessel. That's all well and good, but I know this world better than you. Kindly stay out of the way. I mean, he was in this world. Oh, of course. On the first one. Considering the first second. I don't around. remember any of that. I don't <laughs> he was he was the guy who stole the thing. I then you got a little bit. With the pests. Mm. Then you can resume your stuffy studies. Ah, that's my boy. I'll be watching from the shadows then. Darkness, darkness. Darkness, darkness, darkness. 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 It's a Hello, too darkness, fucking darkness. many. <laughs> yes. 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 This is a a long loading screen. A long blank loading screen. Oh, okay. there you go. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh no, I'm underwater. Oh right, because they were sailing on the undersea and now they're above sea. Yes. It's only a little confusing. They were still in Davy Jones's locker. They yeah. escaped Davy Jones's locker. As they went to the end of the world Thanks, ahead. Jack. Hurry up. You could have warned us. Yeah, yeah something went bumpsy turvy and upsy downsy. Well, at least we're back in the land of the Yeah, that would have been cool to show. <laughs> nah. According to plan. Definitely one of the cooler shows. No <laughs> Aye, that'd be a wicked sounding wind out there. <laughs> I've never seen one like that. It's a cartless ship. Oh no, they have drones. They're evolving. <laughs> Heartless. And dragons. Look out! With lasers. <laughs> nothing. Nothing about this seems time period accurate. <laughs> It's definitely the weirdest part of the movie. Don't impugn me on her. Why would I conspire with them? But you did conspire with them. Could you discuss it later? Huh? <laughs> if you excuse me, I must turn into crabs and go into the ocean. <laughs> Sure do wish we could get a little closer. Don't worry, it's about to drop anchor. Oh, 
Yeah, no. we can. <clears throat> no, but I can. We can. <laughs> Fucking Leonardo DiCaprio over there, what? like no way, don't. <laughs> what? Protect the ship. I'll handle the heartless. Dude, you can Dude, surf on clouds. What a power slide fucking wind. I'm a little concerned on how he managed to do that. <coughs> do a barrel! Press X to shoot! <laughs> ah, yes. Finally, my favorite game. Panzer Dragoon. <laughs> And to think you would have to pay like five hundred dollars to play Panzer Dragoon. Yeah. Well, you could just be playing it right now in Kingdom Hearts for like uh, how much is this game now? Like twenty dollars, probably. At this yeah, point? honestly. Yeah. <laughs> this is its own box, right? Yeah. The story so far was like all the games on every desk except for three because they still need to sell three, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You are correct. I decided I'm gonna wait out for like the next nine games and then get the completer the story. The completer story. Yeah, the, the completer story. <laughs> I do like that even they acknowledge that like yeah, this shit ain't ending anytime soon. When they named it the story so far, they were like, we're gonna make another one of these. Uh, just don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, don't don't worry about it. You'll we'll, we'll get there. I want a special edition, though, that's just, like, Kingdom Hearts, the story as told by Jack Sparrow. Yes. And it's just, like, an audiobook that explains the plot written by Jack Sparrow. <laughs> read by Jack Sparrow. <laughs> and now we're playing Shadow of the Colossus. Which, speaking of which, you still have to play. Yes, we do. <laughs> Dude, this is like the jankiest animation ever. He just snaps back to hold it in between the tags. <laughs> fucking... Riveting gameplay! Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm like, this is fucking really half ass. They're just sitting there like, I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. What if you fight a giant bird over the seas? And you can spin the circle to create a shield. <laughs> Land on the, the clouds, Derek. Be one with the smoke. <clears throat> I think you're the post. Oh, okay, never mind. It's the reverse of what I thought it was. <laughs> I was like, I think you need to stay on the path, no. <laughs> Do a barrel! Press X to shoot! Do a barrel! That's probably the, uh, that's probably the reference people wanted, right? Yeah. You probably wanted me to bring up Star Fox, and I was like, nope, Prancer Dragon. <laughs> it's just better Star uh... Fox. Fight me, Nintendo. <laughs> it's, what do you want to do with the Star Fox franchise? I don't know. How about whatever stupid idea I come up with first? You got it! <laughs> You're too right. I, I've, I've brought this up before. I'm like, the Star Fox franchise is literally dissolved into the whatever stupid idea they come up with is what game they make. Which, unfortunately, is the truth. Yeah. It's like, we could continuously make rail shooters that are in-depth, or we could just recreate the N64 game for like the fifth fucking time with some new fucking shit gimmick that no one likes. I don't know what you're talking about, I said sarcastically knowing exactly what you're talking about. Speaking of which, I have Star Fox Zero for the fucking oh, dude, Wii U. Play it. You interested? People can really enjoy what it's like to not be able to see anything. Because it's all on the gamepad to aim. <laughs> And no one can see that shit. <laughs> like, yeah, I think that would go well. Ka -ka! Ka -ka. But yeah, no, I was uh, 
Because one of my friends is a, a big Nintendo fanboy. And he was like... And I'm like, the thing with Nintendo and Sega's rivalry is that most of Sega's games were rip-offs of Nintendo games, but better. Yeah. And then he's just like, how so? And I'm just like, well, look at Star Fox. Star Fox was a rail shooter. Panzer Dragoon was a rail shooter with a 60-hour plotline and RPG mechanics. And you could fire in four separate directions instead of just straight. It's literally just a better version of fucking... It's just a more fleshed out Star Fox <laughs> in every way. And then he dies. Because a fall from this height, even into water, would kill you. Not true. A fall from this height into still water would kill you. But the ocean is constantly moving, which means you'd probably be alright. <laughs> the legal umbrella takes no responsibility for any injuries caused. Oh, he's in Davy Jones' locker again. Well, think about it. The, uh, what is it, the Brooklyn Bridge? Yeah. People jump off that shit all the time, and they live. The Golden Gate Bridge? That's even higher. People jump off that, and they live, too. It's because it's over the ocean. It's it's the still water that kills you. <laughs> Hit moving water, you're gonna be just fine. You're moving with the water, of course. Yeah. It makes sense. His hat has a little crown on it. It's because when you land, you you can't disperse the water quick enough, so it's, you splat like concrete. Yep. But if the water's already dispersed, you're good. It's a crab. Oh no, that was hiding inside his rectum. Crabs are people? Hmm. Wait, what? Perhaps you'll consider an arrangement. One Dude. Every now and again, they like cut, and I'm just like, Jesus Christ, this looks crazy good. <laughs> this is pretty damn good. Yeah. It's so weird because their Square Enix team is just, they only animate fucking, you know, Final Fantasy, so it's always anime looking, but them doing real people looks really fucking good. <laughs> this is. What then might I divulge? If I didn't know any better, I would say this is like a. Almost a real. What are the plans? Yeah, like imagine how much better this would look too, if they had like movie budget and not video game budget to yeah. make it. Like it almost looks like a real move, like a real scene from yeah. the movie. Like every now and again, we take a shot and I keep being like, "Holy shit, is this like it, it looks like the fucking movie? Like it looks exactly like how he looks in the fucking Shall movie. We? It's fucking what? nuts." Some pirate won't get anywhere without a ship. How did you lose a ship? Oh, uh, we're jumping around a lot in the fucking <laughs> story. Oh, right, I forgot. There's budget cuts in this world, too. This world is is very rushed, I remember hearing. I mean, he just had a conversation with the Navy, and that shit doesn't happen for quite a while after what we just did. <laughs> that key to free me, Clara, and you have my most certain promise. Oh my god, wait, are they explaining why she turns into crabs? Is it all Sora's fault? <laughs> Sora gonna free her and that's why she turns into crabs? She didn't even see the crab! She didn't even see him use the keyblade! And then she's like, use your keyblade to, to free me. This is dumb and I hate it. Oh, underwater exploration? Oh, dude, I can't wait. I'm sure it's really good. You know what other game had undersea exploration? What one, Chris? Devil May Cry one. It they was really, us. it was really good. They ripped off <laughs> Devil May Cry one. That's what it is. Yeah, that was, that was the whole thing. They were like, "What's fun in a hack and slash action game? How about slow underwater movement with a harpoon gun?" And everyone was like, "Yeah," and then they did that. <laughs> and it was a terrible idea. And I don't know what they were thinking, but they never did it again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the underwater harpoon gun in that is a leftover from when that game was Resident Evil 4, by the way. <laughs> and they just did not want to fucking use it. You're probably right about that. They were like, can't lose this. I always love telling that to people, because whenever my friends are like, what's your favorite Resident Evil game? I'm like, Devil May Cry 1. <laughs> I legitimately forgot that's a game. Or that was a thing. Yeah, it was, already, it was already four. You know what's funny? That's not even the only game you can say that to. You know what else you can say it to? What can you say it to? Chris? Haunted Ground 3, or, um... Is it Haunted Ground? Yeah, I think it's Haunted Ground. Haunted Ground 3. 
it was also Devil May Cry 4 at one point. I didn't know that. <coughs> and they were like, this is way too different, and then they scrapped it again. And thank you for telling me these things, Chris. I, I How would actually, I know without them? In, in, correct, in, in fairness, Haunting Ground 3 was never, like, RE4, but all the assets in Haunted Ground 3 were originally for RE4, and then they scrapped it because they were like, this doesn't really fit the tone, and they were like, let's just reuse them for a totally different horror game. I love when that happens, because it is so silly. So yeah, like, um, as my friend put it, he was just like, people must, I'm like, he was like, Capcom must have really loved Resident Evil 4, because not only was it a huge success, but it spawned another huge success after being cancelled and fucking, and then was able to use all of its assets to create another m mildly successful game. Yeah. So the game literally, like, the development of RE4 just kind of printed money because every time they fucking were like, nah, this is shit, it rebooted it, all of its shit just got moved to a different project. We need to move it to another <laughs> asset. <laughs> it's... Like, they were just like, nah, this isn't RE4 enough, let's cancel it. And then they were just like, it spun off, spin, spun off into its own franchise. Yeah, it's, it's good. There's good shit, as they say. I think this is like the only time that's ever happened, too. Which is such a, like, huh, kind of thing. Like, you figure that would happen more. Underwater exploration. Oh boy, I can't wait to sing, sing this way. Sing, oh no, wait, a different world. Sing this song. Sing along. You people can't see it, but I'm judging Derek harshly. Of course. <laughs> I'd expect nothing less. See ya. Oh, nice, they put a water filter on it. And so I ran out of breath and died. You know what's my favorite thing about Sora? What's the favorite thing about Sora? Nothing. You don't like Sora? <laughs> I don't feel like Sora. Because he's uh, he's got uh, the power... Uh, well, it's not that I hate Sora, right? I like Sora. You just hate his He character. had amazing character development in the book where he wasn't real. Uh, and then since then we've had nothing. And it's been like two or three games. I have Sea Fire <laughs> and Sea Thunder and Sea Wizard and Sea and Sea Agua, dude. This is amazing. Uh, dude, I can't even tell you how much I'm in love with the fact that you have Sea Agua. <laughs> really makes me question how you use it underwater, but I respect the gusto. <laughs> See, I feel like water spells and fire spells underwater should just both not work, right? Yeah. Because the water would just be dispersed amongst all the rest of the water, and the fire would just, you know... And, and the words of Spongebob, Hey, Spongebob, how can there be fire when we're underwater? And then it goes out. <laughs> that is always a funny scene. <laughs> yes, Goofy! Dude, that was pretty sick. You could have voice acted this part. Dude, let me grab this crustacean. It's a crab. Actually, it was a lobster. Lobsters are simply crabs that haven't hit peak evolution. As we know, everything eventually evolves into crab. Except for all the things that never evolved into crab. It's the stupidest fucking thing. Can I talk about this stupid yeah. fucking theory for a second? <laughs> I don't think I had a choice in the matter, Chris. No, you don't. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> There's a theory that everything evolves into crab. Everything, everything evolves can into crab. and will evolve into a crab. Yes. And their evidence for it is that, like, the crabs evolve to, like, lose their tail. Like, all lobsters eventually turn into crabs because crabs have, like, the common ancestor of lobsters and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense because they're still fucking lobsters, though. Crabs if are... If this was true, the then there wouldn't be any fucking crab. Is. There wouldn't be any fucking lobsters at all. And also that completely, you like, that doesn't make any sense because for this to be true, somehow mammals would need to evolve into crabs, which is literally impossible given the specs they fucking specced into. 
Like, it literally doesn't make any fucking I sense. I think it is a funny theory, and it is so dumb. It's like the stupidest fucking theory ever. <laughs> uh, yeah. Raptor brings it up a lot. Well, occasionally. I think he does it for a bit, but I'm just like, no. Why would we evolve into crabs? See, I would agree if Cab... If, see, I'd agree with this theory if even at one point crabs were like the top of the food chain, but they're not even close. They're, they're like six or seven layers under the rest of the food chain. So why the fuck would you evolve into crab? Like, uh, because crabs are the ultimate life forms. Like, you, the, with because that logic, six the apex things, predator of Six the different things evolved into crabs, Chris. Yeah, like, with that logic, the, like, the apex predator of the sea the fucking shark would eventually have to evolve into crab, and then it would immediately not become the apex predator of the sea. Why would it do that? It makes no sense. Literally the stupidest fucking theory ever. And I would know about stupid theories. I've seen cartoon theories. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you know that Ash is in a coma? Did you know that Ash is, might and, not and be in the anime anymore? It's... I, I'm, I don't think it's a might not. I think he literally yeah, isn't. He's, he's getting I'm removed. pretty sure they already confirmed that. Um, my sister told me about that last night. And she's like, I hope it fucking bombs. And I'm like, I do too. In fact, I hope the entire Pokemon franchise fucking bombs at this point. Because it's so trash garbage at this point. That like I'm completely fine with it. Just being obliterated, going into obscurity for a few years, and then them coming back with a remake of Red. <laughs> Which they will. Because why would they remake anything else other than Generation 1? Yeah. That's what we need. Uh, dude, I wanted fucking... I wanted Pokemon to bomb when they first rebooted it, and they put them on that fucking island. They they soft rebooted Red at um, Sun and Moon. Oh, yes, yes, yes. They put him on an island and, like, redid his backstory, and then, like, fucking he went back on it. Because they were like, oh, yeah, no, he's a new student and still a kid, and his mom moved to the island, and he's the newcomer, and he has no experience, and blah, blah, blah. And then Ash and... And then Misty and Brock show up. So... And I'm like... You you are... It's you're, stupid. The thing with that is, they didn't actually soft reboot him. They were like, Ash has been on all his other things, but now he's a student for some reason. Yeah. And it's just like, what? Oh, no, this is still a soft reboot. But, like, it's just garbage. It was just garbage. Um, <laughs> it's garbage and I hated it. Um, and they changed the animation art style. That is what bothered me. It looks me. like shit now. Um, I know people are going to be like, no, it's so much better now. The animation's so much more fluid. And I'm like, yeah, and it looks like shit. What's your, def what's your point? Listen, something would be more fluid and look like ass. Like, that's not that hard. I put more frames per second in between. It, there's more frames per second in this game than there was the last game. This game still looks like ass. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't change how ass a game How looks. dare you, Chris? The internet's gonna have your neck for that. It's like, you can this make game a looks game look so good. It's like, you can make a game look like... I mean, this game looks good. My point is more... My point is more like... If a game looks like shit, I can make it run at 60 frames a second. It still looks like shit. <laughs> like, it doesn't fucking change anything. Oh, yeah. It looks like shit. <laughs> Don't matter how good, how fast you make the game. Dude, it's kind of like, uh, dude, nothing, oh my god, speaking of, like, frame per second nonsense, I love the people that, like, go online and then they change fighting sprites to be 60 frames per second. They're like, I, I fucking took this sprite from, uh... Uh, uh, Street Fighter, and I've made it 60 frames a second. That everyone in the comments is like, "Wow, it's so much more fluid now." And I'm like, "Fighting games already run at 60 frames a second. They're f in 17 frame attack is 17 frames for f gameplay reasons. You fucking retard. The game is consistently running at 60 frames a second. The fucking moves are 14 frames because they, the move is 14 frames to come out. What you've essentially done is made his move useless." Because now it's too slow to actually use in the fucking game. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I hate frame rate fucking. Anyone who has a hard on for higher frame rates makes me want to punch them in their fucking dick. Like literally every single one of them. There was a there was a guy who does animation who, uh, uh, unfortunately, we're gonna need to pick this up in the next part. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, we'll talk right. about that frame rate. We'll see, we'll see you guys in the next episode. We'll see you guys then. Peace.